Hi, I'm Molly Stevens, and I want to show you a recipe from my new cookbook, All About Dinner, Simple Meals, Expert Advice. This recipe is one of my favorites, especially this time of year. It's from the vegetable chapter, and the recipe is for roasted carrots with toasted pistachios and a yogurt lime drizzle. So, of course, we're going to start with carrots. Before I um, start, preheat the oven, and then I'm going to put a piece of parchment paper onto a roasting sheet. And this is going to help, one, it makes cleanup a lot easier, but also it helps prevent the uh, vegetables, you can do this for any roasted vegetables, prevents the carrots from sticking. And also what's the best part of a roasted vegetable are all those crispy caramelized bits. And so when you prevent them from sticking to the pan, all the caramelized bits stay on the vegetables and not on the pan. So it's just a, it's just a nice trick and you can find parts and paper in your supermarket. If it's, parts and paper is a little slippery, so if it starts to slip around, just crumple it up and then spread it back out. So, I've got two pounds of baby carrots. I was lucky enough to find these at a local farm stand, so I've got rainbow carrots here. Um, so they're yellow and purple or red or whatever you call it. Um, and I'm just going to spread them out onto the parchment lined sheet. Um, in the summertime, if you can find them at the uh, farmer's market or a, a co-op that have little greens attached, I sometimes leave a little bit of the greens because they get all crunchy and nice in the oven. Uh, this time of year, they've all been trimmed down, so I want to trim them a little bit further. Um, you know, if there's any little bits on the end. These I've just scrubbed because they're such um, they're pretty new carrots, pretty fresh, and they didn't have a thick skin on them. So I just scrub them. Um, if it's a thin, thick skin carrot, obviously you're going to peel it. And then if you want them all more or less the same size. So this is a nice um, sort of cigar shape. Um, if some bits are thinner and some bits are thicker, that's okay. They'll cook it a little bit different length, but you want more or less the same size. So I've got a mix of all these pretty carrots trimmed up. You'll see some of the fatter ones I went ahead and cut in half just so they will roast around the same time. Um, then just simply going to drizzle with a few tablespoons of olive oil. You want enough oil to just lightly coat them all, but not to swim. The oil is going to help them brown and obviously season them a little bit with salt and plenty of freshly ground pepper. Um, this is pretty much a standard for any roasted vegetable technique. And I sometimes mix, and you can actually mix vegetables on the tray. You do carrots and parsnips, you do carrots and onions, and then once all the everything's seasoned up, just toss it so you get that oil neatly coating, lightly coating all the carrots, and then spread them back into a single layer. And you want to make sure they're well salted so you can just sort of taste a piece because a raw carrot makes sure it's well salted. And then they're going to go into a 400 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes. And while they're in the oven, I will go ahead and work on the toppings. Okay, so while the carrots are roasting, I'm going to prepare the topping. Um, certainly roasted carrots on their own are fantastic. I could stop right there, but if you wanted to make this a little more special occasion, um, here's a way to do it. Or make it into a main course, a vegetarian main course. So I've got some a quarter cup of pistachio nuts that I toasted right alongside in the oven right alongside the carrots. They only take about five minutes, so they're on a separate pan. And I'm just really gonna coarsely chop them and have them at the ready. Um, I want them to cool down. They'll crisp up a little bit more after they cool. Um, I bought these pre-shelled. Obviously, you could shell your own if you wanted to. And if your pistachios weren't your thing, you could change out or you didn't have any in the house. Um, almonds would be really good here, toasted pecans. Um, I'm on a sunflower seed kick right now, and those would be good. Or you could skip the nuts altogether if you had someone who didn't want to do nuts. Um, if you wanted to add some crunch without nuts, uh, a nice option would be to maybe some toasted bread breadcrumbs on top too. So we've got those ready. Um, then we've got a little bit of, I've got creme fraiche because that's what I had in the fridge, but uh, yogurt is really great here. That sour is gonna go very nicely with the sweet carrots. And a little bit of fresh lime juice, uh, Greek yogurt or whole milk yogurt, plain yogurt, obviously not a flavored yogurt. You don't want it sweetened at all and just whisk it together. You want something that's a drizzable, drizzable, pourable consistency. So if you need, especially with Greek yogurt, you might find you need a few, a few drops of water um, to thin it out, but this looks pretty good. Salt and pepper to season it. And this could be 
prepared in advance and wet, ready to go when the carrots come out. So I'm also gonna prepare some fresh, I've got some fresh mint here, but you could do cilantro, parsley, chives, a little something green um, to dress it all up. So that's the dressing. I'm gonna go take, check on the carrots. I can smell them, they're getting close to ready. All right, all right, they're out of the oven. So um, 35, 40 minutes, um, but really what you wanna do is use the tip of a knife and just see if they're tender. Uh, doneness for roasted vegetables is really a matter of personal taste more than anything. But I, so they're super tender and I hope you can see there's lots of nice little caramelized brown sugary bits. Like I said, the fresher the carrots, the more sugars there are in them, which means they'll brown up a little bit more. If you're using winter storage carrots and they don't get super brown, don't worry, they're still gonna be delicious and um, as long as they're tender and um, then we're just gonna pile them onto a serving dish. One of the nice things about um, this recipe is that you can serve it warm, hot, room temperature. I don't like it cold, cold, so if I make it a few hours ahead, I might just let it sit at room temperature until it's time to serve it. Um, I put It's a nice one for buffets, um, and every time I serve it, the platter gets scraped clean. Um, I mentioned earlier that you can do this with other vegetables. It's really nice with um, uh, butternut squash. Um, parsnips are nice here. Um, onions. You could do a mix of roasted vegetables. And when you mix vegetables, roasting them, you want to keep in mind their cooking times. So the safest way to do it would be to roast each vegetable on a separate baking sheet, but that's kind of annoying. So just just use a little kitchen sense, and if any of them start to get done before the others, just use your kitchen tongs and, and pull them off. Um, and again, the nice thing about vegetables, if it's a little bit underdone, it'll be a little crunchy. If it's a little bit over, overdone, you'll have extra crispy brown bits. So very forgiving and a really nice side dish, or as I said, a main course, just boil up a nice big pot of whole grains. Um, perfect, just like this, right? perfect roasted carrots. But if you really want to gild the lily, as they say, especially around this time of year, we're looking to dress up some of our side dishes. We've got our lime creme fraiche drizzle. Now, if you are making this ahead and serving at room temperature, you're going to wait to add the toppings before, and do it just before you serve. And so that, as I said, yogurt or creme fraiche. This just happens to be creme fraiche because that's what I have. And then I'm going to use a little sumac here. You might not have sumac in your spice cabinet. Don't worry about it. You can just skip it. Um, I love it. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's got a sour, like sharp edge to it. It's used a lot in Middle Eastern kitchen uh, cooking. And it's pretty too. It's got this bright red. It's a spice that you tend to add at the end of cooking and not at the beginning because the, its bright acidity will fade as it sits. Um, and then we've got our pistachios, or almonds, or whatever you like, or none at all. You see we've got now a pretty little holiday theme going with the green and the red. And then, as I mentioned before, I have got chopped mint, cilantro, parsley, no herbs at all, whatever you want. But there are our roasted carrots with pistachio, sumac, and a yogurt lime, in this case, creme fraiche lime drizzle. Hope you enjoy. Happy holidays. Stay safe, everyone.